Okay, so we're going to start with a team fight. <clears throat> first things first, this team fight is incredibly important. It's about recognizing your team composition. So let's start there. What is the core of Purple's team composition? So the core and the main primary win condition of their team comp and what it hinges on are going to be Katarina, Evelyn, and Lucian, but technically it's really only Katarina and Evelyn. So how do these champions work together and what makes them so strong? Evelyn's ultimate needs to proc to allow Katarina's ultimate to do more damage. That's as basic as it gets. It's a team fight composition. Braum's going to be your hard engage. He can also uh, function as disengage. But in this, it's like a, a Braum ultimate into an Evelyn flank that comes down with her ult into a full Katarina ultimate. Throw a calling in there, a couple cleavers, you're good to go. That's how this team works. On the other side, you have a Twitch, Nunu, Anivia. Technically, the core of the composition, I'm going to say, is really only Nunu, Twitch, and Zillion. Because um, again, it's it's a it's effectively a protect the AD carry composition, but it's an AOE team fight that allows Twitch to get out the maximum amount of damage and to position himself. He's gonna have tools to position himself not only in the blood boil, but the speed up, his ambush, and then the AOE zones um, that Nunu and Nivia can create for him, as well as the safety and utility of the wild growth and the chrono shift. So their composition cohesively makes much more sense. So let's start this team fight. The primary thing that's wrong already is Evelyn's positioning. Why is Evelyn's positioning poor in this team fight? So you have to think, Eve is a stealth-based champion. She actually gets like a huge bonus in the fact that, you know, no one can see where she is, which typically Evelyn, when she wants to engage a fight, it's through a flank. The reason being like her stealth does nothing for her if she's in the small corridor. If she tries to run up on the zillion, he's going to see her when she's like right here and he's just going to like back away, which is why Eve abuses her stealth and abuses the enemy team not knowing where she is by getting the flank and getting an engage or a typical hard engage for her team, despite the fact that she doesn't have any hard CC, she just has the slow. So, first and foremost, this is an issue. Like, Eve is gaining nothing from her stealth by standing together like this. She should be looking for a flank. So here we go. We're gonna go do the team fight. I believe that Twitch just comes up and just, like, blows Eve up right here. So again, he's going to ambush. He has this ping, so he knows that they don't have any vision on him. So now he's going to stealth. We have no idea where he is. He should be speeded up by Zillion or have a bomb placed on him. Come on, guys. Use your comp correctly. Ah, ah, okay. He spotted Eve. What? Come on. Should have a bomb on him. Like, look at this. Twitch is hard engaging this fight right now. We have the Glacier Fist. Like, everyone's ultimate. As soon as uh, 50 camp popped right here, it should have immediately been, you know, Glacial Fissure, Katarina ult, Evelyn ult. Everyone instead backs away. It's this hesitation that pretty much cost the fight even before it starts. Despite the fact that I think that their team comp has so much more cohesion with it and should have won anyway, this indecision pretty much just steamrolls the fight. So, Twitch steps forward, you know, the, the AD carry hard engaging, which he does have, you know, wild growth of Chrono Shift. Nothing's happened yet, no one's hit him yet. Okay, we're about, Evelyn's pretty much entirely dead. There's the Eve ult. Eve now flashes away, okay, now everyone engages. Katarina ult has been saved still. Nunu steps forward. <clears throat> so, as soon as the Braum ultimate comes down and creates this, uh... This narrow corridor, which Twitch is ultimate, like you can never fight a Twitch in a straight line because it's spray and pray is just gonna rip you alive. Nunu does this amazing play by stepping forward and he completely zones out three members here with a beautiful absolute zero. So now you just have like the front line of purple side, excuse me, blue side, just getting, it's because the team purple. Team purple just getting ripped apart. Likewise, Katarina ult still hasn't gone off. Even though Anivia's stun is down, she still has to wait for the wild growth. That's the only CC that can stop her, as well as the polymorph, I believe, is still up. Nope, there's the polymorph, so the only CC that can stop her now is the... She should ult right now. Okay, there's the wild growth. Team fight's already lost at this point. Nunu's in the back line, just ripping people apart. Katarina can't get the ult off, even though there's nothing to stop here right now. Like, she should have been ulting about five seconds ago. As soon as the wild growth was done, just there's no reason not to. Still walking around. There's the ult. Too late. But that team fight, so much of it was already lost just on basic positioning and hesitation. Um, there's no reason that Twitch shouldn't have been punished for engaging the fight like that as the AD carry. Yes, he has the wild growth and the chrono shift, but the thing is, like, it gives him the safety to make plays like that, but the thing is, is, like, you still should have engaged because you would have forced those ultimates to be, like, instantly used. 
like to to synergize the wild growth and the chrono shift is like incredibly hard you have to have really good communication i just feel that this was purple's fight to lose um from the beginning based on positioning alone and a beautiful absolute zero from pommy just can't get over get enough of that but that is what happened in that team fight <laughs>